All right, we're looking at the BFG GeForce 210 today. Very nice card. This is a perfect card for people out there who are not gaming. Uh, it will do some light gaming, but basically, uh, it's kind of a slightly underpowered card. Uh, what happens is that when you're a gamer, you want this really powerful card. If we had to give it a number, it'd be 300. Uh, but to play an HD video, to do all the stuff on the website, and look at videos on YouTube, uh, you know, play a Blu-ray even, or two Blu-rays at the same time, all you need is a number around 50. And this card here is about 75. So it's gonna do just about everything that you want to do, minus playing, minus playing the most advanced games uh, out there. It will play all the simple games. Uh, you'll be able to play even like Counter-Strike, stuff like that, like older games. It will play no problem all day, great frame rates, just not gonna play all the crazy advanced new games. So uh, here it is, the GeForce 210. This one is by BFG. What's cool about this card is that it fits low profile computers. It's kind of hard to find low profile video cards, but this is one of them. Now the way it comes, it's a full size graphics card, but if you did wanna put it into a small computer, all you gotta do uh, is remove these two little screws here and this one and this one over here. This entire plate is basically gonna come right off of this thing and then included in the box, you have two smaller ones. One is an HDMI DVI. It's gonna go right there just like that. And then the second one, if you just wanna have VGA, uh, same thing, but it's gonna block off everything else except for that VGA port. Uh, so this is really good for a home theater PC. It's really good uh, if you wanna get HD audio and HD video through that HDMI out to your TV uh, or to a monitor. It's gonna output that sound through the HDMI as well as the 1080p video. Now that's HDMI spec 1.3a, so it's important to know. That's one of the features that people are looking at uh, on this type of computer. Also, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's one of the features that people are looking for uh, on this type of graphics card. Now, uh, this is NVIDIA's first 40NM graphics card. That means it's slightly more power efficient uh, than the last ones, but it still has a good amount uh, of power on here. So uh, basically what you're looking at is a 589 megahertz core clock, 1400 megahertz shader clock, and then it has 512 megabytes of DDR2, and that's clocked at 800 megahertz. Uh, the memory interface is 64 uh, bits wide, and then like I mentioned earlier, uh, it has DVI, HDMI and VGA, so it will do 2560 by 1600 only through the DVI. So this is going to do 1080. Uh, I think this will do 1200, and then this will do 1600 uh, resolution. PCI Express 2.0 is the bus. This is a modern card. Uh, it is a low power card, but it is very modern. It has all the latest technology in it, so it's really good that you get the latest cards, even if you're not buying the most powerful cards. You want the latest technology. Uh, so PCI Express 2.0, make sure that it is not. Uh, PCI or AGP, as a matter of fact, if you look on the side of the box right here, they even show you this is what PCI Express looks like, that's what AGP looks like, and that's what PCI looks like. You are getting this. You need to make sure your computer has this. If not, this won't fit in your computer. Uh, so it's very, very simple. Does support DirectX 10, uh, does support CUDA, Shader Model 4.0, etc., etc. Uh, so if you want to get something that doesn't take a lot of electricity, fits in a low prof uh, profile computer, uh, doesn't produce a ton of heat, uh, is efficient, but it's going to let you do multiple Blu-rays, multiple HD files, view all your videos, do all the regular high-end video work you do on a computer minus the extreme gaming. This is the perfect card, plus it's way more affordable than the more expensive uh, full-on gaming cards that a lot of people don't even realize they don't need. And it will support even the largest monitors at 2560 by 1600. So there you have it. It's the BFG GeForce 210. Any questions on it, feel free to email me. And I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the BFG GeForce 210 video card, type in B52-0210 into any major search engine.